My name's Cliff. Me an actor? No, I'm a stuntman. It's hard to imagine a universe where Brad Pitt would need to wear a name tag. But that's exactly what the charming humorist did as he attended the 2020 Oscar nominees luncheon. The 56-year-old seems to have found his feet after the devastating divorce from Angelina Jolie and lengthy custody battle over their six kids. Pitt is now comfortable enough to joke about his failed marriage. Let's be honest, it was a difficult part. A guy who gets high, takes his shirt off, and doesn't get on with his wife. And current love life. I wanted to bring my mom, but I couldn't because any woman I stand next to, they say I'm dating. Talk about his alcohol addiction, ironically wear name tags to events, and to be on friendly terms with his exes. Like, for instance, Jennifer Aniston or something. I'll run into Jen, she's a good friend. Perhaps he's open to the idea of dating again. Some sources close to the actor claim he is. Subscribe to Rumor Juice's YouTube channel, because one day, we'll cover a story of Brad Pitt's new love interest. For now, let's look back at Pitt's past romantic conquests. Pitt met Emmy winner and three-time Golden Globe-nominated actress Christina Applegate when both were really young and yet to achieve superstardom. Five years ago, Applegate admitted during a TV show that she was the one to ditch Brad Pitt. Did you ever see Brad Pitt again after that? Did you ever date Brad Pitt again mm -hmm. after that? No, that was it for you and Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. Moreover, it happened overnight at the 1989 MTV Video Music Awards. And the cherry on top? She ditched Brad Pitt for someone else. Apparently, Brad Pitt's mysterious rival was Skid Row singer and Gilmore Girls star Sebastian Bach. For two years or so, Brad Pitt was involved with singer Sunita. He was beautiful with the most amazing body. I saw him for two years. He was fun, he was young and very sweet, Sunita remembered. When the news of the Pitt Joe Lee divorce broke, she was quick to clarify that she had no role in the split. Pitt met his next big love on a movie set. Apart from appearing together in a TV movie, Too Young to Die, Pitt and actress singer Juliette Lewis went on to star in California. Pitt was excited to do a scene and then go over and grab the one you love, and considered their joint movies a vacation. The two broke up in 1993. Two years after the breakup, Pitt even went on record to say he still loved Juliet. In separate interviews over the years, both have remembered their romance with fondness. It may or may not be true that Juliet's devotion to the Church of Scientology was what caused a rift between them. And then Gwyneth Paltrow came along. Yes, Brad Pitt and Gwyneth Paltrow, two 90s icons, together in a movie, and then just together. In crime thriller 7, they played husband and wife and almost played husband and wife in real life, but it was not meant to be. I wasn't ready and he was too good for me. I was too young and I didn't know what I was doing. That's what Paltrow famously said about Brad Pitt in an interview with Howard Stern, years after her split from Brad. Also fairly recently, she said there's no bad blood between them. It's worth mentioning that, while the two were still dating, the notorious Harvey Weinstein was said to have made an unwanted pass at then 22-year-old Gwyneth in a hotel room. The actress had signed up to do two movies with him. Shaken, she confided in her boyfriend right away about what had happened. So Pitt confronted Weinstein and warned him against making Paltrow uncomfortable. The story wouldn't surface until much later, when multiple women came forth accusing Harvey Weinstein of having harassed them. When asked about it in a relatively recent interview, Pitt denied being a hero for what he had done. He added that he was happy to see how men and women's dynamics is being recalibrated at various workplaces. Brad's relationship with Jennifer Aniston was as iconic. They met back in 1994 through their managers, but Brad was still with Gwyneth at the time. Oh, and Jen was with fellow actor Tate Donovan. Oh yeah, you look great. <laughs> In 1998, however, the stars aligned and the two freshly single actors went on their first date. Jennifer recalled later that it was a really easy and fun evening. A year later, the couple indicated they might have been engaged, at a Sting concert in NYC no less. And lo and behold, the two were indeed married in 2000. Alas, just around the time when Jennifer thought about starting a family, Brad met Angelina Jolie on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Contrary to the rumors, there was no cheating. It took until the end of the shoot for us to realize that it might have been something more than we'd earlier allowed ourselves to believe," Jolie recalled. And so, Brad and Jennifer were no more. The world welcomed a new favorite couple, Brad and Angelina. Although Aniston was blindsided by the news of her ex entering a new relationship with his co-star, she still said the divorce process was amicable. We exited this relationship as beautifully as we entered it. Sadly, the hashtag Jolie Pitt union didn't follow the happily ever after route. They lasted for a remarkable, genuinely happy 12 years. But well, life happens. People do succumb to their weaknesses and addictions. 
What matters most is that both Joe Lee and Pitt remain attentive and loving parents to their six children. What's next for Brad Pitt? Subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn.